Hey everybody, Richard here with thewirelesshaven.com. Today we're going to go over how to use some of our PoE equipment to power the Netgear MR1100 or M1 Nighthawk hotspot. The Nighthawk is a hotspot device with a battery in it. We're going to remove the battery so that we show you how to power this thing without damaging the battery with full-time power. If you leave the battery in this device, you'll need to make sure that any PoE power being provided to it, with our equipment at least, you need to have that on a timer that turns the power on and off for a certain number of hours per day. Simple, simple wall timer can do that uh, for your power. But these batteries are not meant to be charged continuously with constant power. And PoE power supplies typically are not a smart power supply. They don't determine how much power is being fed. They're not made for batteries. They're made for full-time powering 24-7, 365 routers or other devices that are supposed to have power all the time. These batteries in the M1, not made for that. So the M1 does power up without a battery in it when it has power up plugged into its USB-C power port. So we'll remove the battery. There's no battery in this. And what we're going to use are 72 watt PoE power supplies. 48 volt power supply. PoE plus plus rated at 72 watts. It has two ports here. One for power and data out. One for data in. The data in port is what you're going to plug into your PC, your switch, another router, whatever it is you need to use. And the power and data out is what we'll plug in to power up our device outside. In this particular case, it's gonna be on the Netgear, but the Netgear doesn't use 48 volts. It uses five volts. So we obviously can't use 48 volts with five volts, so what do we do? We use a step-down splitter. In this particular product that we have at thewirelesshaven.com, as well as the power supply, this is a PoE splitter rated at three amps of total power output, which this is not gonna need, but it's more than enough, so we don't have to worry about being underpowered. It takes your Ethernet cable in. We take a little simple cable here. In from our power supply in the power at P and D out, where the power goes out. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us Ethernet and power to this device. The splitter is gonna split off the power from the Ethernet. So the Ethernet on this does not have any power on it. The power is here. This particular splitter brings the 48 volts down to five volts. 48 volt to five volt PoE splitter. Now, if you have a Nighthawk MR1100, you'll know that it has a USB-C connector on the bottom, not a 2.1 millimeter power plug. So we have you covered there too. We have an adapter made just for this purpose for powering. It is USB-C to 2.1 millimeter power plug. Plugs right in. Nighthawk. Plugs it in. Ethernet, Nighthawk, if you have the version that uses the Ethernet, there is a version that does not, plugs right in there. So now you have the Ethernet going inside your home to be used inside the home while your Nighthawk is in an enclosure somewhere outside, up real high where it can get good signal. This is how you can power your Nighthawk with a 48 volt to five volt splitter using a good quality 48 volt PoE++ rated power supply. Plenty of power for it. We also sell the power cords. These are standard three prong PC style power, power cords. If you already have one, you don't need it. If you do need it, we sell them so that you can power up your, your Nighthawk. Now, does it work? Well, I already have one plugged in over here, a power supply. As you can see, you probably can see that LEDs lit up there. We're gonna plug right in. When we do, you'll see that our splitter 
also shows that it's lit up and then it's got its traffic light on there too. And you'll see that the Nighthawk is booted up. No battery. Okay? This does work. And this is how you, you hook it up. Power supply in the house. You're going to put this outside in your enclosure or anywhere you want, really. Run Ethernet cable to your PC or switch. Power up your Nighthawk. Put it up somewhere where it can get really good signal. Because maybe you can't get good signal wherever this is at. And you can use this with whatever data plan you need to feed internet into your home. Keep it up good and high where it gets good signal. This is Richard with TheWirelessHaven.com. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.